All right, well, welcome back to the r and &R Show. We have not done a recent get them out of here segment, uh, William, in quite some time, but we thought it was uh, important to do one uh, now. Yeah, we uh, probably we, should have done one a month ago. We should have, yes, month. yes, we should have, but uh, no time like the present. A couple of uh, guys that uh, I thought were worthy of the possible get them out of here of the month, I guess we should say, is uh, one uh, uh, nominee would be Ben Simmons. Uh, the Brooklyn the Nets traded, uh, you know, a perennial all-star James Harden for Ben Simmons, thinking that he was the missing piece. And what did Ben do uh, for the year? Nothing. Squad -ish. Nothing. And then they thought, well, we're resting for the playoffs. And then here comes the playoffs. They thought they were getting in. What did he do? Nothing. Sat out the whole entire pl uh, playoff series. Uh, so he was a worthy, uh, you know, participant for the get him out of here. But I think there was only one guy and one guy alone that could be this uh, month's get him out of here, and that would be none other than Phil Castellini. Oh, we my God. Nickname for oh, we, we need to think of a nickname for Castellini. He oh, comes no, on. Can't, we, can't say the, we can't say the F word. No, that, we right? cannot. I was say. Oh, but I will tell you this. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. Phil Castellini, uh, you know, he, he just put through a big shade across opening day by uh, asking the fans, well, where are you going to go? Uh, well, I tell you where we're not going to go, Phil. <laughs> we're not going to go to the ballpark. Have you seen these crowds? Three and twenty-two. On on record for the worst team, I mean, ever, ever, ever. Not just in Cincinnati history. We're talking across major league history. I mean, like, there's just no. Baseball is a weird thing with their economics, but there's just no end in sight. There's not. There's no reinforcement. There no. aren't any reinforcements coming. No. I guess Luis Castillo, but is is he work? You know. No, he's he's not going to get, get you over the <laughs> no. hump. But I'll tell you this: I love that the fans get like you know stuck it to the Castellinis with that one broad stroke of where are you going to go? Not going to the ballpark. He's tried to basically do. Uh, some basically damage control coming out a couple different times, apologizing. Too late, Phil. Too late. What do you think he, Bob's doing to Phil right so now? So opening day, he he put out the first. He was doing an interview, said the first thing, doubled down on it, and then put out an apology. That's a roller coaster. Yeah, on the first opening. It's day. too late, Phil. You I, are done. I mean, do. Do, do the Castellinis recover from I this? They will not. I will tell I you right now, I either. think the Castellinis are probably already in negotiations to sell the team because they're going to hemorrhage money bigger than, you know what, this year. And I think it's only going to continue because he's already – you can't unstick the foot in the mouth. No. They're done. The Castellinis are done. Phil's done. Bob's done. Castellinis, get him out of here.